Hello, my name is Hans van Trijp. I'm a professor of marketing and consumer behavior at Wageningen University in the Netherlands. Wageningen University is one of the partners in the EU-funded project RECAPT. RECAPT aims to facilitate closer collaboration in food innovation management practices in the food and drink sector, with a special focus on consumer acceptance of those new technological processes and the roles that caterers and retailers play therein. In this short video, I will be sharing with you some of the preliminary insights we obtained from this research so far, with a special focus on how consumer acceptance of new food technologies comes about and what role retail and caterers play therein. The research on consumer acceptance of new technological processes started off from the important observation that consumers do not derive utility from the technologies per se, but mainly from the product-related benefits that those technologies can add to the food products that they buy. So when it comes to a consumer acceptance point of view, a very logical starting point would be to first understand those consumer needs, their importance in the marketplace and how they are emerging over time. When we did this first piece of research and discussed it with the CFIF, the important observation was that we see a shift in consumer motivations from what you could call the traditional motivations of low price, adequate quality, to more complex consumer needs related to health, sustainability, authenticity and convenience. And that is an important shift because these are needs that are difficult to verify by consumers themselves. And that's where trust and credence in new food technologies comes into the picture. The other important observation is that these new consumer needs for sustainability, health and authenticity as well as convenience do not substitute the traditional consumer needs for low price, good quality, but rather add on to it. And that's a reflection of the fact that consumers become increasingly demanding when it comes to food and food related benefits. So the important thing is not whether new technologies should deliver health or should deliver low price or should deliver good taste, but they have to deliver it all. The consumer of today is best reflected as I want it now and I want it all. And that set important criteria and requirements for new technology to be implemented in the food and drink sector. So good health with good taste, high convenience with low levels of processing. That's the challenges that new technological processes face. An important insight that we generated in this project between the scientists and the practitioners in the Collaborative Food Innovation Forum was the identification of three separate routes to consumer acceptance. The first one we already discussed, which is the product evaluation enhancement routes, where technology serves as a means to an end in delivering new consumer benefits without compromising on the traditional quality and price benefits. But there is a second important truth, because in addition to technologies delivering new consumer benefits, there may be instances where new technologies in themselves are categorically rejected. This is not where technologies are a means to an end, but social political attitudes that consumers hold with those technologies may overshadow any added benefits that these technologies deliver in terms of consumer benefits. And there is an important third route, and that is where the technology does not so much deliver benefit to the end consumer in terms of product-related benefits, but delivers benefits to the retailer and the caterer industry in terms of process-related benefits. This is, for example, where the technology can be used for dynamic pricing or to enhance shelf lives of products in the store or at the caterer location. So where does that leave us? in terms of understanding of consumer acceptance of new technological processes in the food and drink industry. Predicting consumer attitudes associated with new technological processes is an important first element in understanding the potential value of these technological processes in the food and drink industry. As we have seen, new technologies can deliver unique and improved benefits to consumers and in that respect may generate positive attitudes. However, new technologies may also elicit and generate concern with consumers. 
In order to be successful in the marketplace, it is important that when introducing new technologies into the food and drink industry, that scientists, practitioners and business people alike communicate these new technologies and the products derived from them in a user-friendly, easy to understand and honest way. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I would also like to encourage you to visit the RECAP project website, where you can find more information on the project as well as more detailed findings on consumer acceptance of new food technologies. Thank you very much.